Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do part two of this picture here. We're doing work in the Wild Soul coloring book by Grazia Salvo. And we're working a little on the puppy here. Make sure that book stays open. <laughs> Um, we're kind of doing it with a black nose and kind of some reddish colors in here and then kind of blonde going back down into the um, darker black down in here and a light chest kind of a burnt colors down in here too so we're working on the puppy first before we work on her hair and her outfit so what I'm going to do is work a little bit on this with some distress ink in this area here. We put a little black soot on there yesterday. We're going to put in a little um, brushed corduroy, which is our reddish brown. Don't know which one I was using here. Got to figure it out. This one. <laughs> a color. And we're going to put it just kind of around the eyes in here. and just bring it down. So just very lightly touching that. And here we're going to go a little darker. And then just lighten it up coming out. And a little bit up here. Because that black turns right into this little light brown, reddish brown color around the eyes. And it kind of goes down here. Try to get it in between the fingers. And we get a little bit of it in the ears here, so we might as well pull that on down here. Do that nice and soft and you'll still keep the shadows and the highlights in the hair. Okay. Just a touch over here. Okay. A little tiny in the chest area so we'll just bring it on down here very lightly the ink is loaded up on the brush so if you wanted to get it dark you can push harder but i'm just very gently rubbing that on the paper so we can get just a little bit of that color going on down here It's kind of looking nice. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to move a little more uh, light and blonde in some areas. So I'm going to try to keep some of that area a little lighter. But I think if we just scoot this across. That'll be our shadowed area. Just lightly bring it across the hair. We'll get a nice little glowing effect there. Let's get a sticky note over on the side. just so I don't go out into this white area when I'm inking here. And I need another one. Sorry if my voice is all crackly today. We have a lot of smoke in our area. It's traveled down from forest fires and my asthma is just so nicely kicking in a little bit. So we 
just going to go on down here, put some shading down um, where the dark is, and then just pull the color out lightly. You have a sticky note. <laughs> Costco sells these in a nice big pack. I was very happy. I use a lot of these. <laughs> okay. So we're going to pull it here underneath her arm where the shadow would be. And then just pull some of that color. curls. There. Alright. I'm going to leave the paper on and throw everything else around my desk. I have the picket fences, which is white, and I'm going to put it down over on this side. I have to do it with a big tool because I don't have a clean one of those little tools. So, you can tell the tool is um, white. You're not going to see the ink go on Because <laughs> guess what? It's white. But I'm only putting it on one side. Okay? <laughs> and then we're going to just gently tap it down in some areas here to lighten up some spots and give us a highlight in the areas that I just put some of that darker color on Just a little bit more up here. Okay. Just a tiny touch in those spots. Leave that alone. looking good. Now the um, colors that go with uh, the corduroy here will be the brown ochre is a really good match to it. So if you want to darken any of these areas up of the puppy fur, we'll go in with that. And just give it a little brighter color. in some spots. So how are you all doing today? We're hoping for some rain here pretty soon. Keeps teasing us. I guess it's going to rain. It was supposed to rain last night, but it did not. <laughs> it's supposed to rain today. As I look out the window, we have clouds, but I don't see any rain. 
you could really use it. I'm not only watering my like vegetables, now I'm watering my big trees. They're getting thirsty. dogwoods and my pine trees. Of course, my husband makes sure I'm not doing apple trees. He doesn't like them. <laughs> he wants to get rid of them, so he's like, no, don't waste water on the apple trees. What are the other things? <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. But it would be nice just to get a little of that. Okay, we're just going to keep adding this color just to brighten up his fur a bit. Leave a lot of the white area in there for his beigey fur. Can his ear tips. This needs to be black, so we're going to add some black in there. turn the book a little bit. We're going to get up in here. I think there's a line here I don't want, so I'm going to... Yeah, I was wondering if that was his ear, because we redesigned that part, so I'll just put a little white prisma in there. Soften that point up. There we go. That little spot there too. Then we'll just add the brown on top of that. Um, brown ochre. <laughs> and a little up here. Soften that curl up a little bit. Okay, we're going to darken this one. It's going over her finger here. Darken this one because her finger is digging into that fur like that one. So we lighten that a little bit and lighten that one up a bit. Just so it looks like we're getting right into his fur with our fingernails and such. Okay. Now I'm going to take the side of my pencil and just bring in that color really lightly here. She's enough shadowing here. That you just need to touch it basically. Get some of that color in there. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Just darken it underneath that arm and pull some of that down. Okay, 
Okay, you can take the white and put it in where the lightest hairs are. Bring them up a little. Blend that up. Double check your little line under here. I want to get it right next to her arm. Turn the book here. Okay, run that. We will throw a little of um, dark sepia under here too. Where it's the darkest. And then pull that down too. And blend that up a little bit. Okay, we're going to put some of this dark sepia up in here, too. Right next to her neck there. And pull some of that up. Tracking up some of those little curls. You can play with this forever. <laughs> things that the polychromos do is you can layer and layer and layer, which is wonderful. Just darkening that shadow there too. Keep adding the fur in here. his ear a little darker. So throw a little more black in there.
there we go it's another thought we could bring in some of those pastels and put it in his fur there <laughs> okay let's find some darkish browny colors before it gets into the blues I have number um, 176 so we're going to throw a little of that in there Will it go down on this or do I have too much color on there I like that. Okay, I'm going to quit playing. Basically, we're done there. <laughs> I'm not going to quit playing. I need more. <laughs> on his head a little more Okay, we get to get the duster. I'll just use this one. Can't find the other one. <laughs> okay, we have her hair and her um, outfit to go here. Just a little bit of white in here. playing. 
Okay. <laughs> Down with, um, I think I probably should do her hair. Just not sure what color I want to do her hair in. I'm going to do the background in blue uh, where it's really dark and then lighten it to something. So her outfit here, hold on a second. Okay, her hair. I think we're going to kind of do the, um, this kind of color with darker highlights, kind of a dark brunette, maybe, if I can manage it. So I'm going to get a little of this color in her hair and then probably some other um, Distress Inks in browns in it too. And we're just going to see how this works. So I'll grab a couple of um, pads here. I have a brown one in here, I think. At least I should. Oh, that one's close enough. Okay. Pull out some of these. Uh, tea dye, gathered twigs, and um, vintage photo along with a little bit of the crushed corduroy to bring that color in from the pup. I believe this one is our lightest color. We'll double check that with a card here. Um, take it that might be a little redder than we thought. <laughs> We can add a little of that in the puppy, though. That'll be cool. Okay. I'm going to add some of that in her hair in the darkest areas here. Just kind of pull some in. Out from underneath the puppy's fur. Gonna go down where it's the darkest and put it in the darkest areas. Darkest and then pull it down. color did I pull out here anyway? Do, 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 do. Okay, you're not going to tell me on the back of this one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm staring at it because I'm trying to on the back they usually tell you what color it is, like right there. I know it's upside down, but it says uh, brush corduroy. Here I just have a number. So the lid I have off is the tea dye, right? Yeah, it's a really pretty color for hair. It's just enough change from the puppy. Then I might just uh, keep it close to this color. Keep going down.
Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. Okay, I'm going to put a little on the bigger tool here and wipe most of it off. I'm just going to go around and add it all over. And since there's a, such a little amount, we're getting a nice even blend here. And on the white showing. And if we want to darken up at this areas, we'll just go back in with some ink and darken up those areas. Okay. That's kind of pretty. Let's see what I can get as a pencil to give that any wing. Let's try some bister. And this little piece of hair here is hers. <laughs> Keep that separate from the dog. Okay, you just keep playing with that till you get the right color you like. Hopefully you can see all this. I have a tendency to get into what I'm doing and forget to move the book, so I apologize. Up, so we will turn the book. Pick up 
paper texture is different up here because we sprayed a fixative on this. So if you hear the pencil making a different noise, that's the reason. Okay. Not sure about this hair here, if that's hers or if it's his. I'm making it a boy dog, by the way. <laughs> it could be under here and then her hair, so that's what I'm going to make it. And I'm also going to bring down some extra hairs here. We're also going to sharpen this point and give her eyebrows finally. So the same color as her hair. a few colors in so I'll throw a little black in there and we'll throw a little oh whatever this color is nougat in here Then we're also going to darken her eyes here. I'm going to turn the book. Kind of her eyeliner. Then we'll follow the eyelashes going into the black line we just put and turning our pencil. So our eyelashes come down. Sharp point. Another eye. black in here in the darkest spots. Okay, 
I'm liking that. Now her shirt. Doo -doo. We're going to do her shirt, I think, in blue is kind of like the background of the sky, but I want to make it kind of transparent here. So I'm bringing in the colors we used on her skin on her arm here. I think that one too. So the pastels. This is a skin color. And into the sleeve, we're just going to pull her arm where we think it might be in here. Okay, then we're just going to blend that around. Just a little color in there. duster. <laughs> um, skin color too for um, the Prisma or the Polychromos. So just go on top of that a little bit. Just very lightly. arm color in there. I'm going to do it in blue, so I'm going to pull out a blue um, ink. I've got a light blue tumble glass. Do, do for the um, shirt. Tumble glass. <laughs> Gonna ink up the corner here. And we have lines, so we're just gonna put it down and pull it up where the lines are. light blue shirt. Uh, the color that goes with um, that particular one is it's this one or this one. I have to double check. Let's see. Yeah, this one. Um, light cobalt turquoise. 
So if you want to add any darkness to that, we can go in with that. Put it on the lines, pull the lines across. Leave some white space there. just on the edge up here. And that's where our arm comes through and you can see it a little there. Just make it a little transparent, not clear, but so it looks a little light. Okay, so we're going to take a little, whatever this color is, I pulled out, the light phalo blue. Give it a nice sharpen. Pull that into. Okay, one more blue. Let's see. How about Persian blue? Just a little more depth in here. So just gonna pull that in. to the fabric. Not all of them, but some of them. I really want to darken it under here. We've got a shadow going on here. From her hair. And we'll just mix that in with the lighter blues. And we'll go down here on this and try to keep it a straight line and just bring it up. If there's any area that you want a tiny bit lighter, like there's a little line here, just go under it with the white. Prisma, which blends well with all pencils. <laughs> and just add it in. There we go. 
I think that looks pretty good. Okay, now all we have to do is the background, which um, I have to tape. So, it's either a lot of sticky notes or some washi tape, so hold okay. on. Okay, I taped it off camera just because I had to get down really low. It's where the black is, and then this area here is all going to be inked. It doesn't matter down in this area, so I did not mark that. So I'm going to turn the book a little bit here and try to get this in camera. We've got um, three blues. The blue we used on her shirt, tumbled glass, the uh, chip sapphire, and then the prize ribbon. That's the new one. This one is the darkest, this is the medium, and this is the light. So we're going to work in that fashion. I'm going to go in with the darkest first, and then the dark is going to go where? It's black. So we're throwing in this deep blue. I'm trying not to get the doggy. Okay. So I take it across. So I have this blue up here. Okay. Just going to lightly bring that across. Darken up this spot a lot. So we'll just add a few more doubles of that in the corner. All right. Um, I'm going to do the black down here in the corner too while I have this ink pad on here. So we're just going to turn the book around. <laughs> And do this corner down here. We're going to try not to get into her hair. Um, it is pretty black, but we want to get the blue on there because it'll change the look. Okay, and then we're going to bring it up. Dab it around her hair there. And just use up the remaining ink to go up. We'll try not to get too many lines in it, which I did, so I'm going to just darken it here. Okay, we're going to get out the second color. If I can find the lid to the first color. <laughs> Wipe off some of the residual ink on this little pad here. That's not the next color. This one is prize ribbon. Okay. I'm going to go in with the same ink pad. A little of that color still on here. I'm going to go in this color and then bring it up. Try not to get too much in her hair, but she has a little blue going in there. It's okay. It's not going to bother me. Okay. Make sure you get that color in both sections. Turn around and get the section up here. In this one. Around the dog again. Around his nose. And then out into here. Okay. I'm going to get another ink pad because the other color is way lighter. And we're going to go in with the tumbled glass. Okay. We'll go back over these colors. Mix that ink in, bring it over to his nosy, around her hair, into both of those colors. And bring that color out. Oh, 
Well, that fixative does a weird thing with these inks, which is kind of neat. Kind of lets it sit up on the page. You get a little extra um, blending time. I'm going to put in, because I don't like that corner so light, some of the prized ribbon, which is the medium color. And I'm just going to put a little of that in that corner just to give it a little bit of substance. See those little marks? Just go the other way. They'll blend out. Okay, make sure we get up. Got too much in our hair there. Gonna have to get a little water, I think. There we go. Now, but I'm covered in ink. <laughs> What's new around my house? <laughs> How about I can get in your forehead? We'll have to see. We'll pull off our tape very carefully because I kind of stuck it down. Oh, I may have gotten that a little too close over there. I didn't get it right on the edge on that side. I'll have to try to fix that with pencils. So I'm not retaping and re-inking. Boom. There we go. I can do one of two things. I can either I think I'll actually use a white gel pen and do that and get that uh, fixed there. I don't know what color inks would match those or pencils, so I'm not even going to worry about it. We are going to throw a little bit of blue in her eye area here. Looks like I did get blue in here. Shoot. wonder how I managed that. Um, did not mean to do that. I'm going to get a little water on a washcloth and we're just going to wipe that out. And we'll go around her hair if we get too much in there and just wipe. Get to remember, Distress Ink is water soluble so you can lift a little bit of it out. I do like the color that it has. I don't think I'll splatter it. It looks pretty smooth today. I'll just take a little water up here too. There. Oh, I was going to do her eyes. There you go. <laughs> I'm throw a little blue eye makeup on her, I think. Just a touch so she kind of matches the um, shirt. So this is the uh, first color we put down, the lightest uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, light cobalt turquoise. And we're just going to add that in there. Just really lightly. Then we'll get the skin color here and blend that in. So it looks like she just has a little bit of blue eyeshadow right there. This is the Persian blue, just going over the black with it. So that just gives her a touch of blue eyeliner. And yeah, I'm going to call that. I like it. I think it looks good as is. I'd normally put like little sparkles on it, but <laughs> I'll splatter it with paint, but I like it the way it turned out. So there you go. I might go in with a little bit of the um, brown and recolor her hair bit over here 
just so the brown shows up, not the blue. But that's just a little, little extra to do. Boom, just like that. Touch it up a bit. But other than that, it's done. So that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below. And um, I don't know if you've watched my other video on the uh, big book of color charts that I'm giving away one copy of. You can look it up in the um, on my channel. It closes tomorrow. If you want to put your name in, you have to be a resident of the United States because I can't mail it out of the United States. Um, you have to be a subscriber. I can hit the like button if you like. It helps me out. Uh, those are the uh, rules. It's listed in the uh, description box of that video. But if you want to go check that out and uh, put your name in for the drawing, we'll be drawing that tomorrow. Well, I mean, it ends tomorrow. I'll draw it on the 8th. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. <laughs> so I'll see you in another video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I really had fun with this picture. I'll take a picture of it at the end of the video and leave it. I'll take a picture of it and leave it at the end of the video. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. So I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Bye now.